when we get it, that's when the work starts. You guys, the fucking sideline. We have one game. We have not even one full game left. I've only heard one dude lose their voice and he's got it back today. Let's come on! Come on, fish! Come on, fish! Hey, who can make a ball? I can! I can! Who can make a ball? I can! I can! We're close to this sideline. I even we're in this third of the field. I want to make sure that we don't give up the out, all right? So we make them come under at least in that situation, all right? Push them back as far as you can still, all right? So be close enough that they push back as far as you can and then get a fucking tight clamp on, all right? Where we might get a turnover because they're on the downwind side. Hey, defense has had a great first half other than just scoring, right? We've had lots of turnovers. Let's keep going. Okay, guys. Hey, hey, we're right where we want to be. Right where we want to be. Desperation. 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 Yeah, we, uh, we're receiving going upwind here, so hopefully this can be a bit of a two-point swing for us right off half, right? We got everybody pretty fresh. Uh, we can execute, make the throws. I mean, the trick is, I think, to keep it on the... It's, it's not only upwind, but it's a bit of a diagonal wind, so stay to the upwind side of the field. Uh, and then just make plays, right? Like, guys got to grind a little bit more than usual to get open because the out throw is a little tougher. Uh, but if we can get this one, then hopefully it gives us a chance to get a break when they have to go up win right afterwards. And hopefully that can be a bit of a bit of a game turning point for us.
Bring it in, come on. It's the beginning of the season, how do we start out with what was our cheer at practice? We know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah. To ourselves, boys. To ourselves. Yes, 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 yes. One, two, three. Furious George, two year champions, 2005. Curious George back on top after a year off. How's it feel? Well, that might be the ugliest UPA final you'll see. At least the second half was ugly. The first one wasn't too bad, but damn, it feels good. It feels good, especially because because just before I came here, I don't read ultimate uh, websites. I don't I don't usually surf anything. I just kind of come out and play. But I saw a UPA magazine that had us picked. You no know, ninth by one guy, fifth by another guy. And I thought, you know what, to heck with them. Let's come out and win it all. It feels awesome, man. A lot of us are planning on not playing next year. This is making that decision a little tougher, I think. But uh, we'd love to get four and five. That's what New York did. Um, you know, we think the parity now is is a lot bigger, is a lot you know more broad than it was back then. And that could be a great accomplishment to do it again next year. Good luck. If you want sob circle shots, go somewhere else. <laughs> We're about to get crunked. <laughs> All right, Ben, you guys were undefeated through the tournament and then lost to Furious in the finals in a close one. How much of a factor was the wind in this game? Uh, it was a factor for both teams. We had, I bet if you added up the wind turnovers, the unforced drops and the throws that would bounce up in the wind and go out of bounds and be about even between the teams, they made a couple more plays than we did, made a couple nice grabs, especially Sean's catch in the upwind end zone. And, you know, that's the difference in a game like this. We played four games with them now in the series, split the games. Maybe if we go to universes, we'll play that fifth game. But, uh, yeah, you know, the win was a factor for everybody. Furious, a little older than Sakai. You guys are still a young team. Got a lot of good years ahead of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. You think the core of the team will be back next year? Absolutely. I mean, we don't have more than three guys talking about retirement and of those guys a couple of them are the kind of guys that talk about retirement every year you guys lost lou early in the game was that a factor uh it was a factor lou's an incredible player it would have been nice to have him on the field but all year we've had guys get hurt and we've responded i think we responded well sam o'brien came in on offense and gave us a list and dave Beestock is our fourth handler he's probably been playing the best tournament of his life so yeah it was a factor but we picked it up and losing him didn't lose us the game uh, congratulations on a good season. Oh, thank you very much. That was your third <laughs> UPA Club Championship in four years. How's it yeah. feel? It feels great, actually. We were just talking and everyone feels great. In some ways, this, uh, this one feels the best is what we were talking about in the sense that we had a lot of new players this year and uh, we struggled early on in the year. We didn't win really all that many games at all, but uh, everybody worked hard. Both the experienced veteran guys, like working to get the new guys into the program and stuff like that, and the new guys are getting it, getting better. And we kind of got better, you know, throughout the year. I think regionals gave us a lot of confidence uh, that we were starting to get uh, to the level that we needed to be to win UPAs. And then here, everybody just sucked it up and delivered throughout, and we're, we're obviously pretty stoked to win. Al Bob's 42 years old. Oh. Sick game, sick game. I don't know how many goals he scored in the first half, like five alone or something like that. He's just, he's a freak. Like, he's just such an awesome player. I think he's one of the uh, <clears throat> underrated players in the game. I'm not sure as many people sort of who sort of follow Ultimate, <clears throat> other than the players who play against him in the Northwest, realize how good he is. He's been one of the best players on our team for years. He's one of the leaders of our team. One of the best players in the game, in my opinion. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you very much. Woo!